In this lesson, we will be discussing trading using IBKR Mobile on your iPhone, Wilcoa using the order ticket, attaching orders and navigating the order entry wheel and using iBot to trade. Plus, we'll explore the Book Trader tool where you can transmit orders from a deep book ladder of prices. From the quote details screen, tap sell or buy to open the order ticket. If you are in read only mode, you'll be asked to complete the login process. After you log in, you will see your order ticket display. On the very top of the screen, you'll see that we are creating a buy order. Below that is the financial instrument and market data information. You can modify the order parameters, quantity, time in force, order type, price, etc. Use the minus and plus signs to increase or decrease the amount and tap the arrow on the far right to see a list of values. You can also specify outside RTH, which means outside regular trading hours. Below that section, you can attach a profit taker, stop loss or bracket order. Profit taker is an opposite side limit order designed to close a position while it is profitable. Tap attach profit taker and then adjust the limit price and time in force. Stop loss is an opposite side stop order designed to close out a position with only a user specified limited loss. A bracket order is a two part order comprising opposite side stop loss and profit taker orders. It's designed to limit loss and lock in profit using two orders on either side of the parent order. Only one of the two children bracketing the parent order, the profit taker or the stop loss will fill. Tap Preview to view the commission, total amount and margin impact. When you're done editing the order details, tap the Submit Buy button. Now you'll see that the bracket order, along with the status color for the parent, on the Quote Details screen. The two attached orders are listed below with their order status displayed. Once the orders are executed, you'll see the fill quantity and price. I can tap the orders to either cancel or modify the order. You'll see the status color circles display. Just tap the I icon to view the color and status definitions. Now let's discuss the order entry wheel. From the quote details screen, just tap wheel. The order entry wheel shows you prices, sizes and your order summary information here in the center. The outer wheel shows you absolute prices. This wheel uses shading to distinguish prices at the bid and below in light blue and the ask and above light red. For example, we can tap the price and it populates the price field for our order. We also have a wheel of relative prices. These prices are relative to the bid and the ask price and they are presented as a percentage of the spread or in tick increments. I will select bid minus 300%. When you select the relative price, the corresponding absolute price is highlighted on the outer wheel and displays in the order summary price field. The dynamic relative price is shown below it. You can toggle to relative amounts or percentages. On the right side, order sizes are displayed. The inner wheel shows absolute sizes. In this case, it's shares because we're trading a stock in this example and elect to use 100 shares. Alternatively, we can go to the outer wheel and select a cash value. The cash value is used to calculate the number of shares and it also shows me the exact value of the shares. We can also populate the order size using our current position. If we hold a position in the instrument, it will show up and if we tap it, suddenly our order size is equal to our position. We can create an adaptive order by tapping the adaptive button. Now we're looking at an adaptive limit order. If you use adaptive in IBKR Mobile, you'll want to check your order preset settings using global configuration in Desktop TWS. For this example, we'll create a limit order and tap buy. Next, you'll see order preview pop up. Tap cancel or buy to submit your order. iBot is a natural language interface to TWS that understands commands in plain English. Speak or type a command and iBot will help you create and submit orders without having to navigate further. iBot supports both voice and text entry commands. To access iBot on the quote details screen, tap 
Ask iBot below the chart area. Here you can see an example of a request listed, upcoming dividend dates and more. Let's tap Ask iBot. In the Ask iBot text field at the bottom of the screen, tap the microphone icon or just type text. I will enter buy 200 spy at 270 and then hit the arrow or tap the microphone to speak the command. It will then show me the order details, then submit the order. Now it displays my order status at the top with more popular commands below. I'll tap or enter my orders and see my orders displayed. Below that I can view my account information, my positions and a whole lot more. You can use BookTrader to quickly submit simple buy and sell orders or more complex buy and sell orders with attached profit taker, stop loss and bracket components. In order to use BookTrader, you must subscribe to Level 2 Deep Book Data to see book depth. You can do this within IB's Account Management application. Tap BookTrader. Look on the top of the quote detailed screen. The price ladder shows prices in the center with the current volume at specific price points on either side. Bid volume on the right and ask volume on the left. To create a simple order, tap a bid size at a price point to create a sell order at that price. On the order screen, make quantity or price changes as needed, then tap sell limit or sell stop. Tap the order confirmation line to submit the order. The order is then reflected in the bid size or ask size column at the correct price point in the Book Trader ladder. You can create a more complex order using Book Trader. Tap an ask size at the price point to create a buy order at that price. Just tap complex at the top of the screen. Book Trader requires that you confirm the order before submitting. To bypass this step, from the Book Trader order screen, tap the gear icon on the top right and use the slider to toggle Confirm Order on or off. Modify order parameters as needed, including quantity, target offset, stop offset, stop type, and order price. Tap Buy with Stop, Buy with Target, or Buy with Bracket. The order you choose will use the applicable parameters. The orders are now reflected in the size column at the correct price point in the Book Trader ladder. On the top right corner of the price ladder, tap the list icon to display your orders and trades.